if a full response from all three stations. So that's Chiefs, three engines, three tankers, full response to take care of the confirmed spectrum. So you're just modifying the automatic response? No, that's what they're going to send us. No, the automatic response agreement is for an engine out of Roma. I am asking for a full response. So you're going to modify the automatic response? No, we're not modifying the ARA agreement. We are asking for them to come in temporarily for the full response. We're not changing the ARA. So as that happens, an ARA will still go out and call Randall and Wheatland as well? Correct. Wheatland sends a tanker, Randall sends a lab. Provided they are able to man those apparatus at that time of day. Do we have any idea what this short term contract will cost? I have no idea. I have none. I know it was going to, it was going to cost us um, was $126,000 per year, I believe is what the number was. Um, I'm just asking that we, that the board goes forward and talks to Salem as far as entering into a, a contract with them. But the thing is, if we would have switched over with Salem, See, that's the thing, Roger. I'm, I'm just saying, because I know the last time. Saying, I'm not, no, 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 just listen. Roger Candy says our trucks need work. Fine. So, what I'm saying is, how can we get our trucks up to speed? I'm, I'm just asking the question how can we get our trucks up to speed plus pay someone else to do it? Why can't we find someone that will come in and do it or with no so to help us out? Now, I've talked, to, I've talked to a lot of people in the last two weeks. And the, the, the main thing, one of the main things that, that came up to me to get rid of uh, our, uh, what's it called? The equipment truck. We can sell the equipment truck. Buy ourselves a pickup truck and we can stick money into the other trucks. But I don't know, I mean, I, I, mean, I I seriously look at it, I didn't know what it was going to cost us. You know, three months, almost four months ago, when we tried to enter into an agreement with Salem, they were willing to take over all of the maintenance, everything as far as taking uh, care of the equipment that we had. Now our equipment is out of service. Yes, you're right, they probably will charge us more because now they're going to have to come in and either take care of what we've got or put a vehicle in here of their own. I don't know what it's going to cost. I'm saying we need to look into this for the safety of our citizens. Yes. I don't need that microphone there to speak as well. My name is Gary Wilson, 102 West Bells Road. I want to ask you a question if that's possible. It's 10 days out of service on those vehicles? 10 years. How long are they now coming down until the tires are replaced? And what's the estimate of that? I, they were found to be out of service this afternoon. We had, to get, one, we had to get three bids, it has to be approved through the board, and we have to take them in the minimum bids. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four more. weeks? <coughs> Not the more. Month or more. It is unconscionable that we do not leave, or we leave this meeting tonight without some kind of an agreement to run. Provide fire protection for this community. With the engines that we've got deadline for up to a month, <coughs> you could cost somebody their life. Yes. What I'd just like to say is we should have a shot about ARA from Salem. Yeah. ARA is automatically put in place when yeah. the animal comes out. He mentioned uh, 
response from the Wilmot Fire Station. The only station trigger that is with the Salem Fire Department, excuse me, that is manned is the trigger station. The Wilmot Station is manned by people um, such as firemen that we have in our community. They work, they have jobs, they have families. That station is manned when a call comes in, if those firefighters that um, respond from that fire station, if they're available, they will make it. It's not manned by paid Salem fire department members. ARA comes automatically when a toll comes in to make it safe. Our community residents, necessary response uh, by trying to let our people know that we don't have firemen or chief design, we are in no worse shape than we have been in the last six, eight, 12 months. You're in real hell. You're in fact. You're incorrect. Your AI rate is incorrect. <laughs> 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 I can. Um, I believe in what, what Ms. Gray had stated is that this would be a prison. Um, citizens have come before this board time and time and time again. And it came before the board in February with a petition for direct legislation. And I know Mr. Albrecht stated that it's all um, illegal and et cetera, et cetera, and however it is not. The board was given the opportunity at that time to either accept that resolution that was on the petition or it went to the people to decide in November. We shouldn't even be here discussing this because that's where it was left at in February. Left up to the people to decide in November. Again, protection is coming from Wheatland, it's coming from Randall, just as it has been for the last two, four, six, 12 months. Have you talked about that? You just said yourself, if they have people available. If, I, I don't want to put my life or my family's life and I'm pulled for an if. If you want to do Mr. it for your family, Mr. Doug, do uh, it. What I said was, if you're available to respond here. from the Salem Station in Wilma, that's yes. what I said, yes. yes. That's part of Salem. Yes. That's why we need this contract. We need the contract with them because we don't know if they'll be available to show up from Wilma to come? No, because if we have a contract with them, they'll come from their full station, from, from Trevor. And it's not any farther than Randall. We're, we're already having. What do you have? Okay. Right? Okay. Yes. 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 You obviously have something against Salem because. Okay, wait, wait. What's going to happen here is, folks, and I don't know how many understood the contract that was brought before the people here just uh, this last winter, early spring, etc. Yeah, you may sit down. Uh, the contract that was brought before the people was to enter into agreement with the town of Salem. It was for a 10 year duration. What we would be paying was a hundred and some thousand dollars that they would shave off some for rental towards the trucks and rental towards the building. Which every year after that, they would increase by 3%. And at the end of 10 years, if the village of Silver Lake did not like this contract, or did not like the way that it went, or that we decided that we want to take care of our own, our own community, just like we had in the past, we would have nothing at the end of 10 years. Our trucks would have been bought up by the money that they paid us yearly, and we would be left with an empty building. And there were still questions in that agreement that couldn't be answered. They weren't answered at the time when it came back to vote on it. Especially things like, well, who's going to pay the utilities? Well, we don't know. We'll work those out. They were ready for us to sign an agreement that we still had to work things out. The village of Silver Lake is in not dire straits with our fire department. Miles Trucking does <laughs> Miles Trucking and Doug and your said our 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 apparatus that we have is in pristine condition. <laughs> Did Salem not look over those trucks and have those trucks appraised in excellent condition? They were appraised. Not rusty, they're in good shape and can. The tires are worn out. But they did not say that's not what they're saying. And I want to say an opinion. This is your opinion, and I want a second opinion on those tires. This is not an opinion. It's not an opinion. That's what's going to be the longer. Acting fire chief, you're not going to want a second opinion from an acting fire chief? 
Pardon, Mrs. Gerber. Okay, that was a Mrs. Gerber, your, your comments on the contract are invalid. We're talking about a short-term contract with Salem. If you have issues with what they're going to staff, how many people are going to have, where the trucks are, talk to them and make an agreement. We're talking about health, safety, and the welfare of your citizens. Your number one concern. Right. If